Aloha class, guess what? We got interrupted when we were going to do Big Bad Boy Example 12 because homie Holmes was trying to make his own videos. And I told him, what's up? All right, here we go. Let's finish this Example 12, okay? It's average value, right? And we all need to know that average value. You already wrote this down. Is the integral divided by the interval. Now, why is this tie into, uh, ooh, all over, sorry, DX, all over. Home's been messing with me over here, okay? Um, but to do the interval right here, uh, we're going to have to do a little integration by parts, right? So we do a little lipid. There's no logs. There's no inverse trig. So my u, my u is going to be x to the third. It's going to be the polynomial that comes third in that lineup. And trig comes last, right? So that's going to, whoops. That's dv, so dv are those guys right there. Okay, let's go. Uh, derivatives, 3x squared, right? 6x, 6, and 0. So it's going to take a little bit to get there, right? All right, we can do this. Uh, you know, some of us, we're going to have to, like, go old school. You might have to use u sub, but hopefully you get better and better because the antiderivative of cosine is sine, right? There is an inside, though, so I'm going to have to correct that, and I correct it by putting the 1 half up there. Right, and you can always make sure you're right by taking the derivative of that bad boy and going up, right, class? Um, let's keep on rolling here, okay? Take the uh, antiderivative of that, which would be negative cosine, right? But it's going to be actually be a negative one-fourth cosine of 2x, right? Uh, the next one would be negative one-eighth cosine, oops, sine, sorry about that, of 2x. And the last one would be one-sixteenth. And you should check to make sure you have the right answer, right? The derivative of cosine is negative, derivative of negative sine is, and so forth and so on. And remember, we do this little booyah, right? We multiply that by the positive. That guy, we multiply it by a negative. That, we multiply by a positive. And that, we multiply it by a negative one. Okay, so this whole top part is equal to, it's a whole bunch of stuff, right, class? It is, uh, how could I write this? I should probably, probably write it as one half. Uh, x cubed sine of 2x, okay? And I think I better start writing a little bit smaller here, right, class? And the next one would be uh, uh, two negatives, right? So be very careful. It's easy to make mistakes uh, because of our signage, right? So it'd be 3 fourths x squared, and then I have a cosine of 2x. Homie Holmes, give me my, give me my leash. <coughs> Boy's trying to take my leash, okay? Um, next one. A uh, positive and a negative gives me a negative, so we are a minus uh, 6 over 8. That would be 3 fourths, right, because the 2 is in both of those. And then we have an x uh, sine of 2x. And I've got one more, I think, so right? 1, 2, 3, 4 of those guys. 6 over 16, that would be a little negative, negative 3 eighths, okay? And that would be no x in that one, right? Yep, cosine of 2x, okay? And I've got to evaluate that using the fundamental theorem of calculus. Okay, and that's all over, all over, pi over 2 minus 0, the interval, which would be pi over 2. Okay, whoo, that's crazy. All right, let's think a little bit shortcut. First, I'm going to make sure I got the right answer here. I did it in my notes earlier, so you guys get the best and the very best of me, and it looks like we're good to go. All right, so uh, let's plug in that pi over 2, and I'm going to do some shortcuts. If I plug a pi over 2, I'm going to worry about the trig, because when we deal with sines and cosines, right, we're going to get zeros sometimes. And maybe some things will cancel out, which would be awfully nice, right, class? Um, but if I plug a pi over 2 in here, uh, that's going to end up being sine of pi, and sine of pi is 0, okay? Uh, so I'm going to go 0 plus. Now I'm going to get something for this one, so I have to make sure I actually plug it in, right, class? So it would be pi over 2 squared. Uh, that would be cosine of pi, which would be negative 1, okay? That's from that guy right there, all right? Minus, ooh, sine, we already know sine's going to be 0, so it's going to be minus a big Zero, and then the last one I'm going to get an answer. So I'm going to put in a negative 3 over 8 uh, cosine of pi, so that's going to be a negative 1, right? And that's just from plugging that pi over 2. And then I'm going to go minus. Now i got to plug a 0 in. If you're, if you're with it, you notice for the signs of pi over 2s, i got 0. But if I plug in the zeros now, oh, snap, sweet. How about it? Same kind of thing happens, right, you guys? I get sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0. So kind of interesting how that happens. Oh, does everything zero out? Yeah, that's going to be zero because you have that x squared you plug in for. So that's going to be, uh, was it a plus? A plus a zero. That's going to be zero because you plug in a zero. It's sine of zero and sine of zero is zero. But the last one, interesting, huh? If I put a zero into the last one, I get cosine of zero, which is one. So I actually get a negative three-eighths. How about that? So that ends up being a, oh, that's a positive three-eighths. And that's going to actually be a 
positive 3 eighths, and it's all over pi over 2. So let's see if I don't make any mistakes here. Um, a lot of math going on here, right? That'd be uh, this first little piece right there. What would I get there? Negative 3 pi squared over 16, right? You guys double check my math at home. And then you have a positive 3 eighths and a positive 3 eighths, which would give me a positive 6 eighths, and 6 eighths is 3 fourths. How about it? Booyah! There it is. Oh, snappity dap. Hopefully you guys said it. Mr. Tanaka, you did not multiply, you did not divide that by pi over 2 or multiply it by the reciprocal, right? So I could simplify a little bit here. I get um, negative 3 pi over, because pi's will cancel off, over 8, right? That 2 and that 16. And then I get plus, uh, I get 3 over 2 pi. How about that? That's a pretty cool answer. Uh, we can all make sure if we're right by plugging that bad boy into your calculator. Aloha. Okay, here we go, right? BC Topics. You're watching a video and doing some homework. So your homework is worksheet on the worksheet integration by parts. It's either 5.4 or 7.4. Okay, but it's integration by parts, and you're doing one through, you're doing one through eight. Okay, have it all done. Be ready to go in class. The solutions are on Google Classroom. Aloha, peace out, homie. Get out of here, brother.